So today I'm going to talk a little bit about all the cool stuff we're doing at Intuit with the new cool stuff that we're doing at Intuit with Argo CD uh, and AI technology and GitOps. So at Intuit, uh, we've of course, uh, you know, we're, uh, I'm part of the uh, development platform organization. We have about 750 engineers supporting uh, about 8,500 developers across Intuit. And our focus is on accelerating development velocity for the whole company. And over a four year period, by adopting cloud native technologies like Kubernetes, Argo, et cetera, uh, we've been able to increase development velocity by 8x. And this is the way we kind of view the picture. Uh, we, you know, there's a, this is the amount of time that our average developer spends on the various um, you know, areas uh, you know, of their work. So about 8% on like, requirements and design, uh, a much larger fraction on both the inner and outer loop of, uh, you know, of, the, of their daily you know, work. And where Argo and AI fits in is in accelerating the outer loop. Right? When you get to deploy, operate, maintain all of your applications. So how do we do this? Uh, one of the great things about Argo is that it provides to developers the full unfettered power of Kubernetes. Uh, your developer can do anything they can do with Kubernetes using Argo CD. But this also creates a problem for large companies and enterprises. Because in a large company, not all your developers are Kubernetes experts. So they really want something more like a self-driving car, right? Not a Formula One racer, right? Like many developers, for example, they don't know how to correctly configure HPA or VPA. They may not even know the difference between a liveness probe and a readiness probe. If you look at some of their configuration settings, they probably have set their liveness probe the same as their readiness probe. Right? So, so this becomes a problem in a large company. And it also hinders the platform team. Because you have a platform team supporting them. They want to tweak the configurations of Kubernetes, find better ways of scaling your applications, rolling back. But the applications team owns the manifest, the Kubernetes manifest that they're, they're deploying with Argo CD. So in order to get these changes into production, they have to convince the applications teams to accept their pull requests and make changes to their applications. So the, so the way we're addressing that is by introducing additional kind of abstractions. We want to abstract Kubernetes to a certain extent so that applications teams don't have to be experts in managing Kubernetes, but they still get the benefits of auto-scaling through HPA VPA, automated rollbacks through Argo rollouts, and the platform team is free to innovate, to make changes, optimizations, and incorporate new platform technologies onto the platform without having to go to every applications team to do something for them. Right. Okay. Uh, so let's look at the first example. So one of the things we decided at Intuit was, and if something can be done by the platform team better than by the application team, the platform team should do it. So we're building abstractions to enable that. Right. And one of those abstractions is to automatically configure HPA and VPA for every application automatically. Also automatically configure like rollback based on analysis and automatically for every application. Um, and in order to do that, uh, we've of course had to introduce these abstractions. Uh, and we've also had to incorporate more intelligent technologies, you know, like using AI to do uh, you know, better auto scaling and so forth. Right? And we're also looking at ways of uh, taking the work that we've done and making it available as a more of an opinionated uh, option in Argo CD in the open source project. So, so any, anyone in the community, hopefully in the future, can also with just a few clicks enable your applications for you know, auto scaling or rollback. Right? So that's one of the things that we are uh, working on. Another area is, you know, say your app, uh, user is using Kubernetes and they get some error message. 
you know, there's a crash row, I mean, a crash back, you know, in a back off type of thing, right? Now, is the problem caused by their application or by the platform? But as you change the abstraction level, it gets harder to tell. But they get some cryptic, at the end of the day, they get some cryptic error message. Just to, to them, it's cryptic from Kubernetes. And what should they do with that? So that's another area where we're finding that the application of AI technology with automated like stream processing of all of these events that are happening from Kubernetes could vastly simplify uh, developers' lives. It could tell them exactly what's wrong and exactly how to fix it. And also determine whether it's a platform problem or an application problem and send the alerts to the right team. Right? Finally, uh, and we already mentioned this, but auto rollback is also a very important feature. And this is where things like anomaly scoring uh, is very useful. Now, a lot of these techniques rely on data. Like you have to have data in order to properly scale your applications. A lot of teams start with simple metrics like CPU and memory, but quickly find that those metrics are not robust and stable. Okay. So they have to generate more sophisticated metrics. And so that's why uh, we created the NumaFlow project to allow you to do real-time stream processing. It was actually originally called Argo Dataflow, and the Argo workflow team uh, originally created this project in order to uh, fulfill the needs of Argo community members who wanted to do more like real-time stream processing. Like they didn't want to spin up an entire workflow and destroy it for every event that comes in. They wanted POS to be able to service a continuous sequence of events in an efficient way. So it provides a lot of useful capabilities for that. It also makes eventing a lot more uh, reliable. So please uh, check it out uh, and uh, you know, give it a star when you have the time. Uh, and also please drop by the Intuit booth and uh, you know, see the live demos, talk to experts, and uh, pick up some plushies uh, for your kids and yourself. All right, thank you.